Well, you may have heard the old saying, you can't fight City Hall. Well, one woman would not settle for that when her car was damaged. She believes by a Metro West town and the town would not pay up. So she came to us for help. My windshield was completely smashed like Charlotte's Web and there was significant damage to the front right passenger side. When Trish Dolan Neal left work one day last October, she walked out of the office to find this, her car dented and scratched, the windshield broken. The culprit, this large tree branch, which just happened to fall from one of these trees between her office building and the new Lexington fire station, which was being built next door. Trish says that day crews were working up in or near the trees. They were either pruning trees that day or they had people doing, you know, electrical services what have you. But when the police officer showed up, he was even surprised and he said, wow, this has caused a lot of damage to your car. In addition to filing a police report, Trish took these photos and a video as proof of where her car was parked and what she says happened. Her insurance company, Arbella, initially paid most of the $5,000 in damages minus her $500 deductible, which they told her to get reimbursed from the town of Lexington. I just thought it would just kind of be a seamless thing where I had the video and the photos. But instead, she says the process has been shady and left her stumped. After months of unexplained delays, the town decided this August to deny the claim, refusing to pay both Arbella's reimbursement and Trisha's request to cover her deductible. They were just flat out denying it. It is clear the trees were pruned as part of the construction project. Many of them now show signs of being lopped off. But the town's insurance company, Argonaut, claims the tree in question is not on the town side of the property line, and they argue no crews were working that day that could have caused the damage. The damage only happened because they erected the fire station. They were pruning trees back. The case is similar to one we showed you last year. A man in Waltham had the electric meter, siding, a shutter, all ripped off the side of his house, causing thousands of dollars in damage, thanks to this city backhoe, which came down his street and got tangled in the wires. Despite having this video as proof, the city's insurance company initially balked at refunding his $1,000 deductible, but did relent after we got involved. So how do you fight City Hall, or in this case, Town Hall? Gather as much proof as you can, and then insurance experts say lean on your insurance company. They have the expertise and the attorneys to press your case. If you're a longtime customer, ask them to get your deductible reimbursed as well. Now, unfortunately for Trish, Lexington would not budge. The town insists they investigated this matter, and they say no work was being done that day, so Trish is out the 500 bucks for her deductible. If you've got a consumer story for me, you can email me. The address is ben at wcvb.com.